वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ब्रांच प्रिडिक्शन लॉजिक ऑफ पेंटीएम प्रोसेसर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ ब्रांच प्रिडिक्शन लॉजिक इज देयर विथ पेंटीएम प्रोसेसर यू शुड नो वाई डू वी नीड टू हैव ब्रांच प्रिडिक्शन लॉजिक लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दैट बाई वन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल लेट अस से वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग वन प्रोग्राम रिटर्न ओवर हियर so in program instructions are written in sequence right now when you execute program and as if branch instruction comes then what will happen then program control will jump from one address to second address and now once it jumps over here what it does is it will execute program written over here at this address now as if jump is happening there are many issues which is generated over here what are those issues you should know my dear students pentium processor supports pipelining so in pipelining we are already having instructions in pipeline so you just think about this we are executing main program and when jump happens at that time already few instructions are there in pipeline right so when program control jumps over here so it should execute program written over here but here in pipelining already instructions are there so what we need to do we need to flush all these instructions means we need to remove all these instructions now we need to reload instructions in pipeline over here and then we need to execute this program so my dear students as if branch instruction comes at that time if you don't predict branch instruction then we need to flush the pipeline and that is what the issue that we need to resolve by branch prediction so in branch prediction what we do is when you execute main program if you predict as if branch is over here then in pipeline what we do is we load instructions which are there after branch we don't load instructions over here which is there in main program after branch whatever instructions are there that we need to load in pipeline so what will happen obviously you don't need to flush the pipeline already these instructions are there in pipeline so your execution will become faster and that is what the case which pentium processor does and here branch prediction logic is having 95 percentage of accuracy in predicting branch so how it predicts the branch that is what i'll explain you step by step so let us see this video step by step to understand how all those things are happening so my dear students when we talk about branch prediction unit of pentium microprocessor then you should know it plays essential role in prediction of branch instruction here you should know branch instruction causes pipeline stalling so in that we need to flush the pipeline and because of that some clock cycles may get wasted right so because of frequent pipeline stalling you will be having degraded performance of execution of program right so here our agenda is to predict the branch instruction in advance and we need to give command to prefetch buffer regarding branch instructions there can be call jump or return kind of branch instruction which are there with pentium microprocessor and that we are predicting in advance let me give you one more example here for example here we have one pipeline in that instructions are written as per 56789 right and that we give it to execution as well so in pipeline we are having instruction in advance right for example instruction 5 that is having branch instruction right it may be jump call or return instruction in that case what will happen program control will jump from one location to another location let us say we are jumping at instruction 27 then my dear students as if you have instruction 5 which is branch instruction but here you see in pipeline we have 6 7 8 9 instruction then first of all what we need to do we need to erase all these instruction from pipeline right and then we need to reload pipeline starting from instruction 27 right so you see pipeline stalling is happening here and now we need to reload instruction as per 27 28 29 30 31 that is how in sequence we need to reload it so my dear students as if it is happening in that case many of the clock cycle will get wasted as if it is getting repeated right so in prediction what we do is here after instruction 5 as if you predict that now there will be branch and it will happen at 27 then 
predicted pipelining will be like this in which after 5, 27, 28, 29, 30 will be there. So you don't need to erase instructions after branch instruction, right, as it was happening over here. Now, my dear students, let us try to understand how it is implemented in Pentium processor. So here we are having dynamic branch prediction scheme. And here, my dear students, prediction is happening. And based on that, we are preparing our pipeline, right? So prediction means what? As if you predict that now there will be branch and that branch will happen at particular location, then predicted pipeline that will be there with you, right? So here you should know my dear students, if prediction is correct, in that case, you don't need to flush your pipeline and no clock cycles will get wasted. But as if your prediction is false, in that case, my dear students, again, you will have to flush your pipeline and you will have to start over with current instruction, right? Now, my dear students, you should know how it is implemented over here in Pentium, right? So here it is implemented using four-way set associated memory with 256 entries. And that is there with BTB branch target buffer, right? So this BTB that is having 256 entries and that is there with respect to four-way set associated memory. I'll explain you what is the meaning of this, my dear students. Four-way set means what? To assign each set, how many bits are required? Two bits. So that will be history bits, right? So two bits will be there, which will be history bits. And that will define four different sets, right? And based on history bits, you should know prediction will be fixed, right? So here, my dear students, you see we have four-way set, right? So history bit is 00, 01, 10 and 11. Now, with respect to history bits, prediction is fixed. Like as if H is 00 or 01, then you will be not taking branch, right? Prediction is not taken. But as if H is 10 or 11, prediction will be, branch will be taken, right? So as if prediction bits, history bits, that is 00 or 01, branch will not be taken, but as if history bit that is 10 or 11, by default branch will be taken, right? Your prediction may be correct, it may be false, right? But here, with respect to history bits, decision will be fixed, right? So here, as per history bits, we'll be taking prediction as if it is 0, 0 or 0, 01, branch will not be taken, but as if H bits are 10 or 11, prediction is branch will be taken, right? So here, my dear students, if you have false prediction, then you will have to flush your pipeline. But as if your prediction is correct, then you don't need to flush your pipeline. Here, my dear students, you should understand first how these H bits are defined, right? So initially, it will be 0, 0 by default, right? But as if branch is happening at that location, See, location is stored over here in entries, right? So as if branch is happening, in that case, history bit will get incremented by 1. So next time when you come at that address, at that time history bit will be 0, 01, right? And as if history bit is 0, 01 right now, and as if again branch is happening at this address, then history bit will get modified to h is equals to 1, 0, right? And as if H is 10 right now, and as if branch is happening at this address, then history bit will get modified to H is equals to 11. So history bit is there based on past data, right? And as if branch is happening at particular address, then history bit will get modified, right? And it will be incremented by 1, right? So what it means? You are increasing branch prediction priority, right? For H is equals to 0, 0 and H is equals to 0, 1, you will not be considering prediction to be taken. But for H is equals to 1, 0 and H is equals to 1, 1, you are having consideration by default that prediction is there as per branch has to be taken and based on that only you will be preparing your pipeline, right? So here, my dear students, you should know if branch is not executed, 
then also history bit will get modified right in that case history bit will get decreased by one so you see as a branch is happening then history bit is incremented by one right and maximum it can be one one only but as if branch is not happening at that address in that case history bit that will get decreased by one and now new priority will be defined for branch is to be taken or not so that is how branch prediction is happening so this is all about branch prediction logic my dear students with this logic of branch prediction this pentium processor is predicting branch with up to 95 percentage of accuracy so based on that i don't think every time instruction should get flushed from the pipeline right but there will be few cases obviously in which you will have to flush your pipeline again as if your prediction is false i hope it is clear to you still if any queries there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video